Well, good morning, everybody. Wow, the coffee's sinking in. You know, there's a thread developing this morning with ScanSource. Walter White, cooking crystal meth, knowledge of prisons. What's going on here? Something's, <laughs> something's I maybe mean, been announced later, I don't know. It's great to be here. It's great to be in Savannah. It's great to be in a place where they also have thick accents. In case you're wondering, this is Irish. I can't get rid of it after 25 years of being in the U.S. It's killing me. Anyway, here's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about how you can make more money. Do you want to talk about that? Let's do that. I'm going to come at it in three ways. Number one, I'll talk about the trends in UC. Number two, I'll talk about what opportunity that presents to you. And then number three, I'll talk about how Polycom maximizes that opportunity for you. That's the shameless advertising piece that I got to do. Okay? So let's get started. The trends. So all the analysts, Forrester, Gartner, Frost, Wayne House, they're all declaring that UC is in a state of transformation. And it's in a state of transformation because of new technologies, because of the explosion of mobile devices, and because of the changes and expectations of the workforce. And this is leading to evolving business needs. Great companies of today, they are going to cut costs, they are going to drive innovation, and they are going to improve productivity with the use of UC moving forward and all the benefits that that gives. And those business issues, they're causing IT departments headaches because they know what's coming. They know that heterogeneous environments are coming and they're gonna have to support them. The days of the walled gardens are long gone. They know that the changing expectations of the workforce are gonna cause them headaches because workers wanna work at home, they wanna work on the go, they wanna work in collaboration spaces, in offices, on desks, in conference rooms, all over. IDC predicts that by 2016, video will be the predominant communications vehicle in businesses. Also, interoperability is now moving up the decision-making charts. Decisions on purchases right, are made number one by cost, but number two now because of interoperability. That's moved up really, really quickly, in large extent due to the explosion of mobile devices. <laughs> two billion cell phones out there by 2016, 400 million video-enabled tablets by 2017. And 65% of major companies believe that a flexible workspace is no longer a perk, but it's a necessity to drive innovation. So the transformation is upon us. This is what all the analysts are saying. Well, what does all that mean? What does all that gobbledygook really, really mean? Well, let me, let me explain it like this. Collaboration, voice, video, and content Collaboration has been a see you, see me scenario up until this point, with the benefits of reduced travel, improved decision making, and improved productivity. And it's been generic across departments. It's been an improvement of communications generically across corporate um, departments. See you, see me. What the transformation now is, is show you, show me. Show me what, show me where, show me how, show me why. It's a new level of value. Well, let me illustrate that. We did a deal with a federal credit union in the Midwest, and their problem was that they couldn't get their loan specialists out to their 70 regional centers. It was costing too much. They only send them out one day a week. Well, you know, who's gonna arrange one day a week? Who, who's gonna make sure that fits into their schedule of your customer, right? It may work, it may not. Well, now with collaboration technology installed at their headquarters and a bullpen of loan specialists at their headquarters and their regional banks video enabled, customers can come and get access to those loan specialists anytime they want. And what that's done is that has increased the top line of that federal credit union, right? They're holding more customers and they're gaining more customers. So the value proposition of show you, show me has now gone beyond that travel cost reduction, that improved decision making, that improved productivity, added to that are improve, is improved top line. 
the upper right-hand corner of the chart there, that shows a prototype bank in Japan, of course in Japan, one minute before opening time. And you notice that there are no employees actually at the bank itself. You know, good luck Bonnie and Clyde trying to rob that place. Another example is in healthcare and telemedicine. In healthcare and telemedicine, we did a wonderful deal with CVS. When I say we, I'm talking about Carousel, ScanSource, and Polycom. And what that was, was we infused collaboration technology into their brick and mortar pharmacies. So now their customers can go into what they call a CVS Minute Clinic and get access to a doctor who's remote through voice, video, and content. And it's bringing more traffic into their brick and mortar pharmacies, which is improving their top line and increasing customer satisfaction. Again, adding to that value proposition, the see you, see me value proposition being improved by the show you, show me value proposition. One day you'll be able to access hospitals and doctors right from the comfort of your own home. That's what Alberta Health Services have done in the state of Alberta in Canada. Right? When you, whenever you go into a hospital in Alberta, Canada, and you, you get done whatever you need to get done, you get all bandaged up, you go home, you, know, you shower, and you're like, how the hell do I do this again? You readmit, it's a readmission, and it's a cost. Well, not in Alberta. In Alberta, you can access the hospital through your PC or your iPad, and they can show you how to do it there and then. There's no readmission, costs go down. That's the effect of the transformation. It's adding new value to the entire chain. So transformations also mean opportunity. So what opportunity does that mean to you? Well, let me show you the, the vastness of, of this market. You look at SIP, SIP desktop, $1.2 billion and growing at over 30% a year. You look at video, 2.2 billion, and that's the see you, see me kind. When we get to the show you, show me, show me when that's pervasive, that's gonna be double or triple very, very soon. Vaz, video as a service, it's gone from zero to $200 million in 18 months. Video content management, video content management, $630 million of market. A sidebar here, if any of you in the audience are thinking about getting into an adjacent space or adding on to the solutions that you currently provide, video content management is there for the taking. That $630 million is going uncontested. There's hardly anybody in this room that is selling video content management today, and it's there. I'd love to help you sell it. Back to this, Microsoft Link. Microsoft Link is exploding. Microsoft have instantiated over 50 million link licenses through the end of 2013, 50 million. Less than a tenth of those are video enabled, and there's a ton of services around link instantiation for all of you. It was great to see ScanSource announce this morning that they have now a, a link services practice, which you'll be able to take full advantage of. That's terrific news. So what does this all add up to? It all adds up to $8 billion and growing. And Polycom plays across all of that. We play across every aspect of that. And so the question I have for you is, where do you want to play? Where do you want to play? And who do you want to play with? And here comes the shameless advertising. Polycom's vision, Polycom's vision is to unleash the power of human collaboration. And that fits right into that entire spectrum of business. That fits right into that $8 billion. And we do that by providing collaboration any time, any place, on any device. UC is what we do at Polycom. We're not distracted by non-UC business. We're 100% focused on UC. It's in our DNA. It's been in our DNA for 19 years when we started. In fact, back in the day, we used to call it voice, video, and graphics. Not too far off from voice, video, and content today. And we've been innovating for those 19 years, year in, year out. Two and a half years ago, we had Eagle Eye Director. Recently, we released 20 UC innovations in Q1, big ones and small ones. Right? Our, our last innovation was soft MCU, released in, in Q1 of this year. 
and we got small ones. Let me show you an example of a small but fun innovation that our users will get a lot of benefit from. Let's roll the video. Things ended up getting held up in customs. However, I think... Someone go on mute. I, I know it's lunchtime on the East Coast, but... Oh, oh, sorry. It ended up getting held up in customs. However, I think we've worked through all the paperwork and I expect it to be delivered to the customer location no later than tomorrow afternoon. Dogs barking, keyboards, how about leaf blowers? And the holy grail of noise cancellation, mother-in-law filters. I wish we could do that one. You don't know my mother-in-law, let me tell you. So voice, content, and video, it's in our DNA. It's been in our DNA for 19 years. And our differentiation, it's very crisp, it's very clear. It's three simple things. Number one, we are the kings of interoperability. We're absolutely the kings of interoperability. We're laser focused on it. It's what we're all about. And in this transformation, there's no way the walled gardens are gonna make it. You've got to interoperate. With all those mobile devices out there, with all those disparate systems out there, it's a heterogeneous world. And fitting collaboration in the business process is gonna require lots and lots of capable interoperability. And that's our differentiation. It's one of our major pillars. Number two is, we offer choice. Our customers have choice. Choice in how they buy and choice in how they consume. So they can buy via OpEx or CapEx and they can consume on-prem, customer owned, on-prem, managed by you, off-prem, public cloud, private cloud, multi-tenant. They can consume it any way they want. They offer choice. We offer choice with you, with ScanSource, and with Polycom. And number three is we are absolutely 100% channel focused. We are 100% channel focused. We're dependent on our channel. 97.4% of 2013 Polycom revenue, 97.4% of our revenue last year went through our channel, went through you. We're 100% focused on our channel because we know it takes a village. And this transformation is going to take a bigger village. And you are the village. So how do you go about this? That's all well and good. How? How are you going to make more money? There's one, really, there's one key component I really want to get through here, right? We did a, a research study with Wayne House. And Wayne House went out and they asked end users, what do you expect of the best resellers in the world? What do you expect of resellers? What do your customers expect of you? And there were three things. Number three was having flexible value-added services. Good, many of you have that. Number two was being able to integrate the solution into the end-user collaboration environment. Okay, there's some services in there too, good. But the number one request, number one expectation by far was being able to understand and solve the end-user core business issues. Let me double click on that and give you a few examples. There's a, uh, a reseller in Connecticut sailing into an insurance company late last year, and they were calling the IT department, and the IT department was having none of it. We, we're not interested in talking to you. And so this reseller, very savvy, went out into the line of business, and they went and they talked to a regional P&L owner of the insurance company, 
and asked him, what are your business issues? And the guy said, you know, I'm losing customers at times of peak demand. Like, for example, during the recent East Coast storms, I had over 5,000 roofs that I needed to assess, over 5,000 claims. I don't have enough claim adjusters to get to all those. There's no way. I can't handle peak demand. And I'm losing customers because of it. And so the reseller put together a solution for him whereby he video enabled roofing contractors to get on those roofs with full HD video, kept the assessors back at the office, and they collaborated. And they, they defied distance in that manner. And instead of doing three to four assessments per day, they were doing 15 to 20 per day. And they were able to collaborate with people they didn't collaborate with before, because the assessors and the roofers were never on the roof at the same time. Well, now they are. And so they're getting to more customers, and the customers are more satisfied with the outcome. That's getting to the line of business. That's, that's the how. That'll, that's never going to come out of IT. Let me give you another example. Amazon, big polycom customer. Amazon Kindle Fire. You've heard of that device, right? They have been fighting against the Apple iPod, iPad, and there's a lot to fight. The iPad's a, it's, it's an amazing device. One of the areas where they were getting killed was in the area of support, where Apple had the Apple Genius Bar. And the Apple Genius Bar is a support service inside the brick and mortar stores that Apple have scattered all over the place. You can go with your, with your, your Apple device and ask any question you want, you'll get an answer for free at the Genius Bar. And a line of business team came up with the idea of adding the Mayday button to the Kindle Fire so that you get a Genius Bar right in the comfort of your own home. So not only did they neutralize that advantage from Apple, they usurped it because it's even more convenient now for Kindle Fire users. That's the power going out into the line of business. That's the how. Let me give you some statistics. Already, 58% of IT investments have direct involvement from line of business executives. Already, in 2013. That's the 2013 stat. 58% already of direct involvement from line of business executives, those IT investments. By 2016, that number is going to be 80%. This is it. This is the how. This is how you go about doing this. If you don't get out in the line of business, you're going to get crushed because somebody else next to you is going to do it. You got to get out in the line of business. So how can I help you? How can Polycom help you? Well, we have a number of programs in place. We have a great partnering program. We've won the CRN five-star award five years in a row, awarded again here in 2014. We provide you with a partner portal. It has a ton of collateral in there, allowing you to learn the vertical conversation, allowing you to teach your sales forces the line of business conversation. We have our partner choice program, which gets you up to speed on Polycom faster and cheaper than ever before. We have deal registration. Maybe this is the most important of all. We have deal registration that protects you when you find a lead and lead with Polycom and rewards you when you find a lead and lead with Polycom. And we'll honor that 100% all the time. We have marketing programs. Campaign Central is a, a platform for um, email campaigns. We got MDF funds to fund customer events, webinars, call campaigns. And we have our own Polycom lead generation machine where this year their quota is 150,000 market responses. A market response is an end user calling in and say, hey, I'm interested in talking to somebody some more about X. And we give those 150,000 leads out to our partner community. And then lastly, we're really easy to do business with. And we're really, really easy to do business with when you do it through ScanSource. ScanSource is Polycom's largest partner on the planet by a mile. In terms of revenue, they are five times larger than the nearest partner that Polycom has. And there's reason for it, because they do a phenomenal job understanding Polycom and making it really, really easy for you to do business with ScanSource and Polycom. So in conclusion, the opportunity is enormous. It's $8 billion and growing. We are 100% committed to our partner channel. We've got the tools, the enablement, the leads. We've got the people, the line of business experts, the high-touch sales machine, the channel managers. 
And most importantly of all, most importantly of all, Polycom with ScanSource has got the differentiation to allow you to win. Polycom plus ScanSource has a differentiation to allow you to take your unfair share of that $8 billion market. So I have a simple ask. Come win with us. Thank you so much.